Airstream Nerds. And I'm going to try to get, I'm going to mount my TV that came out of the front into the area where the back one is. Now I've already taken the small TV off um, and I've test fitted um, the larger TV. The, the mount fits, everything fits. Um, now what I'm trying to do, and there was, there was a couple of messages on the uh, air forums about this particular TV because Airstream modified the board that the the um, optical output audio didn't work properly. I have already hooked it up to the to my Bose Solo and tested it. Audio works just fine, um, so I'm not going to have to worry about replacing the screen with another screen. Um, so I've got two two issues involved. Um, one is getting the soundbar mounted to the top. Now, right now I've got this. If you go to my other um, my other video for installing the soundbar or installing the Apple TVs, they actually show how these mounts work and what the what the how to take it apart and mount it and all that. So I don't think I need to go through all of that again. Um, I'll put links below for that. So what what the biggest thing is is getting the TV secure for going down the road. So what I've figured out is. Um, this particular bolt is screwed here. There are two other small bolts with lock washers right here that one goes here and one goes here. This bolt went here, so basically they're just stops. So when this is all pushed back, that the, as you can see, like the, the TV can only go so far back. This one here keeps this mount from going so far back, and this one here keeps the TV from going all the way against the wall. So what I what I need to do is I remove this one because it fits perfect here for the angle that I want. I need to replace this one with a much longer one to keep the TV from, from pushing back against the wall. This mount has this, has this pin lock that normally would push the smaller screen all the way against the wall, lock it in place for transport. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to loosen these screws and I'm going to get some strap like this, um, Velcro, and I'm going to wrap it around it. So when I get these stops properly done, and I push the TV back against the wall, it stops, and then I can use the Velcro for the rest of the way. On this side of the TV, I'm going to mount some rubber bumpers to protect the, um, the um, aluminum from the TV just hitting there and rubbing up against it as we go. So right now, the first step is... I'm using the same same um, brackets that I used for the other thing. Now, I, I was trying to figure out a way to get this mount to come apart, separate from here, separate from here. It doesn't appear that it's an easy thing to do. And it's just as easy since my airstream is parked in front of the house. It's just as easy for me to work on it right here. So I've locked this flat so it's like a table. Um, it's, these screws aren't tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these similar to the way I did the TV up front when I put the Bose Solo. Again, another video shows you how, how I work these. Um, they don't line up, the screws don't line up perfectly. So as you can see, the screws spacing is different. So I can't use these straight through. So what I'm gonna do is just like I did on the other video, is I'm going to angle these in. I'm going to hit one of the screws and I'm going to tilt angle it, in. Angle it out, I meant. So I'm going to basically put these on and then tilt them out so these are spaced correctly and I'm going to cut these off here. Um, and then just drill a new hole somewhere in this in this range once I get everything lined up that way these screws spread out Matching the bows um, 
matching the bows and centered up. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these brackets off so they're the right length and these so these pieces stick up the right height and they don't. So I don't wanna have to buy new screws here like I did for the other TV and put spacers behind it so these things can sit down. I, I have plenty of space behind here for mounting things so I don't need to need to, to maximize this, the space here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Once I get uh, the next steps done, I'll get back to you. All right, so I took the TV back off the mount because I forgot I needed to re-add my, my um, mount for the Apple TV. So I'm gonna mount that somewhere in this vicinity. I'm gonna mount it just like I did on the other TV on the other video. Just gonna drill a couple holes in the back of the case. So what I've done is I've taken the case apart. Now keep in mind that this is going to probably void your warranty, but I wanted to show you guys how they wired those RCA cables that the Airstream put in here. They've basically, they've wired them into the speaker. So, so they've connected them directly to the speakers. So the output from the board comes here, goes into the speakers, and they've tied in the left and the right to the output of the left and the right in the speakers. So um, they could have just as easily spliced it right here, made it a lot simpler for, for you know, taking it out. I was gonna take them off, but they're not really gonna be in the way, so I don't care. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes in this case here so I can run wire ties to attach this to the case. Um, I've used the sticky stuff that comes with them, but since you get such um, temperature changes inside of these campers, um, the heat causes the, the, the adhesive to melt sometimes and can make them detach. So it's much easier just to run a, a um, zip tie to them. So I'm going to set this where I want it. I'm going to take my marker. And I'm just going to hit the back of the case. I don't really need to see it that great. And I'm just going to drill the two holes and then mount that on there. All right, once we got it, once we once we get um, this all back together, I'll show you what I've done with the brackets. All right, so I've cut so I've cut these off, sanded them smooth just for my protection. Once they're up there, it won't matter. And I've drilled the hole. How I how I lined up the hole is I put the bracket with this screw in. I lined up the speaker um, equal on both sides, slid it to where it needed to be. Then I used the marker to mark it. So essentially, it's just sandwiched between the two brackets, or between the TV and the bracket. Now the bracket and the, the Bose speaker are all connected and I just need to slide the other bracket in between here and do the other one. All right, so I got the brackets in. Um, Apple TV is in here. Make sure before you tighten everything up, you put a um, zip tie under it. It's a little easier to go ahead and That'll squeeze it together and keeps it from vibrating out of the hold. If you were using this at your house, you wouldn't have any issue. But again, since we're in a moving vehicle um, and it is plastic, it tends to um, adjust with the temperature extremes and, and it gets a little loose when it's really warm. But this will keep that thing from separating and won't slide out. Everything's in there solid. We'll hook it all up here in a little bit. But since it was part of, of this, um, so I'm going to stand this thing up and show you how it looks. Now in order to make this as a table, I just tightened up this, the swivel bracket. So as you can see, the Apple TV or the, the Bose speaker fits perfectly under here. Doesn't get in the way, doesn't hit anything. Next up is we're going to get this thing situated the way I want it. 
get some bumpers on the side here and figure out a way, like I said, with the strap through the mount. But right now, just going to tighten it up. Cool. All right, so like I told you before, I took the screw, the um, the um, screw that was into this into the bracket here that that held the TV from pushing all the way against the wall, and I moved it to the smaller one that I took out from there. It was just a little screw here just to keep the TV from butting up against here, and then there's also a small one back here. So basically, this one's perfect distance for this. We got a two-inch screw that that threaded into that nut. It's a common common thread. I don't know what the size is, um, but it's a common common size screw. Um, it's probably a quarter inch. I don't know. I don't know what size. But um, so what we need here is you need either a, between a four and a five-inch screw here. That'll allow as you watch watch it go back. See as as the the bracket goes back it bumps up against here and stops and then the bracket on this side stops which keeps us that angle but this side still pivots so once we get this piece we don't want it butted up against either one of these the, the light switch or the or the thermostat so we get a four to five inch screw to put in there and then a strap to go around to hold the TV in place and we should be good to go okay so I ended up getting a five inch bolt um, just because I wanted to make sure it was long enough. Now, everything pushes together and it's solid. TV doesn't move. And I still have um, distance in there. The biggest concern I had was heat coming off the screen affecting the thermostat. Not sitting far enough away um, that I'm pretty good with, with the, the position. It's not sticking out too far. All I do is put my feet down there. Um, when we watch it, it may get turned like that, which is good for, for over in the side as well. Um, now all I have to do is figure out a way to secure it. Um, I'm not sure if I have a Velcro strap on hand, um, but I'll check and, and I'll figure it out. Once I get the secure part, then I'll go ahead and get everything wired back in. Okay, so I found this piece of strap that I had. I, honestly, I don't remember what it came from, but it's just a, a generic buckle with like this uh, vinyl um, like strap stuff. And I actually loosened the bolts on the wall and put the strap behind the mount. And when I cinch it up, it keeps it up, keeps all these pressure points pushed together and the entire um, TV doesn't move while we're driving down the road. There's still a small gap here. Um, everything looks good. I'm gonna cut the strap a little shorter now. So when I'm, you know, when we're set up, it, um, it's not hanging out so much. I don't have all this excess strap to deal with. Um, anyway, got that. Now all I got to do is put the wiring back in there and I'm all done. Also, as you notice, it doesn't, like I showed you before, the strap even clears. So you you got plenty of clearance for your cabinet. Um, I like it up on the top here instead of down below. I think that I don't really want to lower it closer um, but as you can see I mean there's my feet sitting on top I've got big feet anyway all right let me go ahead and pop this strap off and get the wiring done so I have the bows in everything's wired up if you look At the back here, I've got the power supply, I've got the 
the uh, optical cable, everything's routed nice and neat. I mean, I do this for a living, so I'm a little bit anal about things. So everything's hooked up. I got the third power. Now, I know that in a lot of these Airstreams, anybody that hadn't had any work done on it, this um, the, this is on your inverter, and this is your regular um, your your um, 120 volt feed. When I had my when I had my solar powers done, solar panels done, I had all of my all of my outlets work at the same time off my normal, um, you know, the, the plug-in feed, um, or everything's on an inverter. So I don't have separate plugs anymore. I just haven't taken off the stickers or anything. So as you can see, everything's wired up. TV goes flat against all the brackets like we talked about. Straps are right here. They plug together, cinch them up, everything's tight. So now, trailer's ready to roll, and I now have a Bose Solo in the front and the back. Um, much bigger screen back here. I probably could have gone bigger, but might as well you reuse the 28 inch screen that was already here and um just buy the the bose thing it cost me other than the price of the bose thing um and i already had this strap it really only cost me the 85 cents for the screw um you'll need wire ties some you know various odds and ends but um most of us have that kind of stuff laying around anyway i want to put information below um regarding the the bows and and the links for the other other videos I've done that that show how to do the Apple TV and show how to do how, how this mount works and stuff like that. Um, anyway, good luck if you try this. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Need any help? This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. See you on the next trip.